We're here today with Kane um, to talk about his music career. So, when did you and your family first notice that you had musical talent? Um, I would say I w when I was a baby, because I, was I would be banging on Tim King and stuff. I would always sing the songs I would hear on the radio. My and um, when did you start taking your pursuit of music as a career seriously? When I was 18 years old. And how did you do that? Well, when I was in Rogers High School, I heard buddies of mine who are rapping, and it made me want to start a career as well. That's when God showed me that He can use rap music to save lives. Um, so, what's your ultimate goal? My ultimate goal is to definitely, I have two goals. Number one is to preach a healing message to a hurting world. My number two goal is to get my music career on the road. Right. Um, so, you write your own songs, I hear. 17 songs. Wow. All self-wrote. And the crazy thing about it is, Karen, is that I don't write nothing down. You don't? No. Then how do you know? It is, it's just all in my head. Wow, Kane, that's really great. And so that's a wrap with Kane, the Christian rapper. When I met Kane Patino, he performed for me live on one of the songs that he created, and it blew me away. It, it mesmerized me. He has such a gift, such a talent. And when Kane Patino came on the Queen Silver Show, he blew the world away. He now has fans worldwide. People look up for that inspiration, for those motivating words, for the messages that he display and the music that he is doing. And he was a guest, a guest, excuse me, on the Queen Sylvie Show multiple times. Uh, in fact, he will call in every week just to give a shout out and update and keep everyone posted on his music videos that he has available on YouTube videos. Our first conversation that we had was about his music, his gift, his passion, and we even discussed the Lord because he believes in the Lord. He has such faith. Nothing stops him, and he doesn't believe in, I can't. He can, and he does. We've assisted Kane with um, his music and the gift that he has by putting him on the Queen Silly Show, where we have four million worldwide listeners. Uh, Kane has developed a fan base. He comes on and he performs. And we are looking forward to getting Kane Patino down here in Texas where we have set up for him studio time, a beat artist who will create his own beats for the music that he creates and allow him to make his first CD, which is so long overdue because he's a wonderful artist. In fact, here on the Queen Silvy Show, here in Texas and worldwide, we call him Superstar Kane Patino. Thank you.